The distance from Boston to New York is about one and two tenths times ten to the six feet. Just a side note on this: that's not far enough. Uh, the New York, that's where the the Yankees play, and I am a Yankee hater. Yankee hater. Um, so anyway, be, be that as it may, one point two times ten to the six feet, and the distance from Boston to LA. Ooh, the Lakers, I am a Laker hater, is 1.6 times 10 to the 7th feet. At least that's a little bit longer. About how many times larger is the distance from Boston to L.A. than the Boston, the distance from Boston to New York? Um, all right, yeah, let's do this out. Uh, 1.6 times 10 to the 7th. Let's see. Um, how many times larger? So if I was trying to figure out, let's say I... I um, my age is 26 years old, which it is, and I'm really 19. Um, I'm a very young person. And your age is 13, we'll say. Well, my age is about twice as big as yours. That's how many times older I am than you. And we use division to figure that out. So in this problem, anytime they say about how many times larger, it's a division problem. So we're going to do, I'm going to erase this stuff here. We're going to end up doing 1.6 times 10 to the 7th divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 6th. And when you do this out, the 10s, you know, if you were to do this out in expanded form, we saw this in a previous video, 10 times 10 times 10, I'm only going to do three of them. Let's pretend it said 10 to the 3rd. Over 10 times 10, what would happen is these 10s would cancel. And you'd be left with one 10 on the top because there's one more 10 on the top. So um, that'll be 10 to the first power. So 10 to the first power would be what you're left with in the numerator. And then you just have to do 1.6 or 1 and 6 tenths divided by 1 and 2 tenths. And uh, for that, you know, you could just do this out the long way with long division. You'd want to slide your decimal over, multiply by 10. Slide your decimal over here and then bring it up. 12 goes into 6 one time. And then you'd subtract, you'd get 4 here, and there's nothing to bring down, so bring down a nothing. And so that'll equal 40. 12 goes into 40, 30 times. You ever seen that, that commercial that Hershey, what is it, not Hershey, Tootsie, Tootsie Pop, you know, with the owl? It's a little, it's, you're probably a little bit too young. <laughs> anyway, the owl ate the Tootsie Pop in, in three bites, which is incredible. That's an accomplishment. You have to be an owl in order to do that. This is going to keep repeating 1.333. So 1.3 repeating times 10 to the first. They gave you four choices up here, and I'm going to take this one because 1.3 times 10 would equal 13. And remember, it's not going to be exact, but I think they used the, the word about in here. They did. It's right there. So 13 times. What's the length of the missing side here? This is Pythagorean theorem. If you remember to find the missing side, you do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is actually the hypotenuse. It's the biggest side. It's always opposite the right angle. So we'd write 15 right here. And it doesn't matter what we call a and what we call b. I'll call b 12, but you could call a 12 if you want. And then we've got to figure this out. So the part that I know is 12 squared. That's 144. And 15 squared, you might not know. Pause the video, see if you can figure it out. It'll be 225, and then um, the a squared is still right over here. So something plus 144 equals 225. I'd subtract 144 out of here, and that'll leave me with 5 minus 4 is 1, and you might borrow, but I'm going to just say 22 minus 14 is 8. And these, of course, canceled out, so you're left with a squared equals 81. Take the square root of both sides to get a by itself, and a equals... Nueve. A equals 9. X cubed is the same as 216 to the negative 1. Negative exponents make fractions, so I'm going to rewrite this. It's a fraction. So the same number multiplied by itself, something times something equals, sorry, there's, there's two numbers, a fraction times a fraction times a fraction. Well, something times something times something equals 1. That's going to be 1. 1 times 1 times 1. And then the 216, you can do some guess and check. I know 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 is too small. 10 is too big. See if you can figure this out on your own. Pause the video. See if you can get what, what equals 216. Hopefully you ended up with 6 over here. So it would be 1, 6 times 1, 6 times 1, 6 equals 1 over 216. Same thing on number 20. Make it a fraction. 
Again, pause the video if you think you can figure this out. And something times something equals 1, well, that's 1 times 1. And then 11 times 11 will get you uh, what, 1 over 121, so the x will equal 1 11th. And by the way, over here, x equals 1 6th.